Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your January No Contact Love Tarot reading. This is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Gemini, I'm going to take a look at your person, see what's going on with them, with the situation, why there's no communication or contact, or maybe very, very limited. So I'm going to pull one oracle here from each deck, and this is intended to be their energy. And then we get into the tarot. I'll look at the situation, what happened here. And then I'll look at about how they feel about the situation and the no communication at this time. And then I will look at um, what's blocking them from communicating. And then if there's any outer influences, outer influences you may or may not be aware of that may be also affecting why they are not communicating at this time. So this may or may not resonate for everyone. If it does resonate for you, there will be an extended reading. And I will tell you all about that at the end of this reading. And... For those who like timestamps, timestamps are down below. So welcome, Gemini. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is intended for someone rising Venus, male or female, is a general collective. Please only take what resonates, how it resonates, and if it resonates, and leave the rest behind. I'll mention the signs as I see them, so it could be Sides in your chart, their chart, or just energy, so please keep that in mind also. And everything you need to know about me in this channel, Gemini, is down below in the description box in the pin top comment. So please do go check that out. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, for Gemini, I hope everyone had a wonderful, happy, healthy holiday season, new year. All right, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with your person. One more card here for Gemini. Okay, this one. All right. Let's see what's going on with you, Gemini. We have here open up. So this is the four of pentacles energy. So you're personally, your person is definitely closed off right now and they need to open up. And I think they know that. This Four of Pentacles energy is, it's a very stable energy, but it's also the energy of holding back or not giving in or not giving out, or it can be an energy of holding on and not letting go. But we do have open up there, so let's see. The Resting Tree, Patience and Stillness, 22, which is a four. So that's another number of four. Wow, that's crazy. So 22 is the double number of um, unities, partnerships, you know, decision making. So there are definitely, I feel like here, um, just being still, resting, healing, thinking, contemplating. I think they know they need to open up about this, but um, I feel like they're testing your patience. That's what I feel, and I think they know that. Yeah, did I not just say contemplating? Oh my goodness. So we have 69 here, which is 15, which is 6. Very healing, balancing energy. Hmm. Yeah, so they're really thinking about something here, about this connection, you know, what's going to happen here. I don't know if somebody had done something or if they're just thinking about, you know, what they want or don't want in this connection. The rest of the tree and contemplation. And open up, so they're definitely very, very close off right now. All right, Gemini. So let's see the situation. What caused this? What caused this situation for you, Gemini? What caused this situation for Gemini's? Uh, no contact with their person at this time, Spirit, please. So let's see. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Swords. Wow. I feel like here somebody lied about wanting... Uh, the Knight of Cups is about forward movement and love. We have Scorpio energy here. Or it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, somebody, I think, lied about really wanting to move this forward in love. Like saying, oh yeah, you know, I you know, I want this, you know, I want this relationship, blah, 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 blah. But really, all they really wanted was to be single and independent. Nine of Pentacles is a very single, independent energy. You know, Five of Swords, the Seven and Five of Swords is not a good energy. So there were either lies, 
some sort of sabotaging energy. It could be outer influences. It could be somebody lied that what the, about what they truly wanted, said they wanted it, but really they didn't want it. They wanted to stay single, but yet they didn't want to lose the connection with you. Um, we have Ten of Pentacles here. So, you know, that is my marriage commitment card. So somebody could have lied about commitment. That's what I feel about this moving forward in love. They wanted to keep it at a knight energy, not a king or emperor or empress energy. Very single energy here. So the, it could have been a fight, argument about this. Also. All right. So, and I definitely feel like now we're thinking about this. So somebody definitely could have, um, you know, blocked the other one here. Or maybe gave them an ultimatum. So now they're thinking. So they're really thinking here what they truly want. I haven't just saw the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. But let's see. So let's see how they feel about this. You know, and if it was a fight about, you know, being noncommittal or not, you know, <laughs> you know, keeping their promises or being true to what they said they wanted or if there was a third party or outer influences of others, some other kind and there were lies, uh, or argument about that, um, but they're really uh, thinking here about what they want. So let's see how they feel about the situation and the no communication with you, Gemini, the lovers. They're still thinking about you, that is for sure. The Queen of Swords, but they know you cut them out. <laughs> wow. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, wow. The Knight of Swords. So the Queen of Swords can be Libra. Knight of Swords can be Aquarius. Or we have two swords here. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Lovers is Gemini. That's your energy. They still think about you. They think about being intimate with you. So, you know, maybe for them it was purely based on sex or passion. Uh, but yet they do still feel some sort of special connection with you. Because the Lovers is a soulmate twin flame energy. But uh, how they feel is that uh, you really cut them off here. You took quick action. Put up your walls here with the Nine of Wands. You know, they know that, you know, there's been a lot that's gone on in this situation. It's exhausting. Um, but that's also about perseverance and not giving up. So I kind of feel like they hope that you're not giving, totally giving up on the situation with them. I almost feel like they kind of want to come rushing forward now. They're just thinking about it and they're not really taking action to do so because they're afraid that you're still going to block them and cut them off. But they still uh, think of you in this soulmate twin flame energy, intimate times together. Uh, yeah, two of swords came out, indecisive energy. Um, intimate times together, passionate times together. I think they find you very beautiful, attractive, intoxicating. All right. Gemini. So let's see here what's blocking them from coming forward. I feel like they want to now. So what's blocking them from coming forward? It's like they know they need to open up. Six of Swords. Ten of Cups. Wow. The Two of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. And then we got the Queen of Wands right in back of that. So this is a matching couple, soulmate twin flame energy, because we do have the lovers right there. So King of Wands here could be Leo or Leo Sag Aries. I don't feel like they're feeling confident enough yet, or they don't feel bold enough yet to come forward, or confident enough um, to where they know if they come forward, you're not going to totally like flip out on them or block them. Or um, just like scream at them or whatever here. So they're really juggling around um, their emotions, their feelings, um, everything here on what to do. But the Ten of Cups is here. And the Six of Swords is about leaving all the BS behind and moving to a calmer, peaceful place, more balanced place to get to the Ten of Cups. So I think they're waiting for a time when they know that maybe some time has passed 
and there's not so much anger or resentment and that kind of energy and they're and they feel confident enough to come forward and know they won't be totally blocked so right now they're juggling around the idea you know is it still very emotional time you know am i going to be blocked am i going to be um Un, I don't want to say unrequited, um, rejected. So they could have fear of rejected and still, you know, being blocked here by you. So this just trying to juggle it all around and trying to decide when is the right time, I feel. So let's see um, if they have any outer influences that you may or may not know about. That may uh, be also affecting them. That may not involve you. Could be other things going on with them right now. The Hierophant, the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, on the bottom of the deck here we have Justice, wow, and Death, Ooh. so we have Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, that's you, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have Justice here with Libra. Unless they have to go, they're going through a divorce or something like that, because justice can be something in the uh, justice system. You know, usually in a love reading, when it comes out, for me, especially here with this death card, um, you know, maybe they're not fully, like, divorced yet. Maybe it's not um, finalized yet. Maybe they didn't tell you that. Maybe you thought it was or something like that. Um, so I feel like, you know, Ace of Swords is my divine clarity from source. It's... You know, it is about truth, clarity, communication, cutting away things that are only serving us, epiphany, awakening, aha moment. Um, it's also about a successful new beginning. And this King of Swords, you know, and now this is a match to the Queen, which we have right there. So that's two matching couples that we've seen here. Um, yeah, they're feeling sad, some sort of loss, and they have some stress here. So, um, it could be that if they're not getting divorced, maybe there's something in the justice system that they're waiting on. And this king of swords could be, you know, legal counsel, you know, advisor, um, counsel or something like that. And they're waiting for divine clarity or just clarity of a situation. But, you know, the Hierophant is about, uh, Taurus energy here is about, usually my marriage card also. So that's why I feel with death here, something coming to an end in the Hierophant, which is about marriage and justice. Somebody definitely, definitely here, uh, maybe getting the finalization of their divorce soon. And, um, you know, maybe they're, maybe they're going to lose a lot of money. Maybe they're going to, um, you know, a lot going on with that. Maybe it's just not really a good time for them right now. So, yeah, I feel like there's something in the justice system and they're waiting for clarity on something uh, either to come to a close or an end here so that they can finally just move on. And they're waiting for uh, clarity on a situation here. So that's what I kind of feel, um, Gemini. So if this did resonate for you, Gemini, please do. Um, like, share, subscribe, and comment would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Check the description box below. Everything you need to know is there. The content I provide, more content I will be adding. And if you don't want to miss out, uh, please hit the bell and you won't miss out on any rings. And if you do, thank you, thank you, and welcome to the family. So we're going to go to the extended now, Gemini. And um, links are below to Vimeo or Patreon, whichever suits you best. Description of both are down there also. In the extended, I'll pull you three new oracles here on the future of this connection. Where is it going from here? Um, are they finally going to... Maybe they just haven't told you everything about their situation, about what they've been through, you know, and the divorce and the process of what's going on with that. Uh, and maybe they just um, never told you all the details. So, and they could be thinking about, you know, opening up here. I feel like they want to open up and maybe they feel like the best thing to do is wait till something comes to a full closure here. So in the extended, I'll pull you three new oracles. I'll use the sexual magic tarot and I'll pull a whole new spread and we'll look at how they view you as a person in your own right. Uh, what's in their head when they think about you and the connection. Uh, what's in their heart space when they think about you 
in this connection, how they truly feel, what their next move may be, when, where, how, um, what they truly want from me in this connection. And with the sexual magic, I'll see how they feel about you intimately and whether or not you've been intimate with them, you know, so if that resonates. And then I have the Untold Truths of the Heart here from Aqua Moonlight. And I'll pull a bunch of these, what you need to know about this connection, the hidden truth, or what's being hidden. Memories, bittersweet, dwelling, reminiscing. So maybe there has been some memories between the two of you, or maybe, you know, they get nostalgic when they think of back on whatever the situation was, and maybe you know, they tend to get caught up in those memories, and that's when they pull back uh, from you. So that could be another thing. Okay, Gemini, so if you go the extended, I'll see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.